I've removed the top, top of the box, the crate. We're just going to inspect it for damage. It comes to pretty well wrapped. This is what your scooter will look like as soon as you remove all the plastic, inspect it for any damage, uh, and remove all the wrapping. What you'll receive is the scooter. You'll receive the headlight, the front wheel, the front fender, two mirrors, a battery cover, then number cover, the hardware bolts, a battery, owner's manual, tool kit, hand guards, two of them, blood flap, luggage rack, and luggage storage compartment. This is how your handlebars will come. This part here needs to slide right into here and there's a groove right here where they need to match up. It's pretty obvious. So you'll slide this into place and turn it until it catches, goes down. And then we'll install a bolt through the eyelet here. So I've tightened this bolt, but if you notice here, we still got movement. That'll tell you it's not tight enough. So we'll, we'll go ahead and tighten that. So I've tightened this bolt up, the steering bolt. You'll notice that it's tight when, when you move the bars. The rest of the unit will move with it. it won't, there's no slack in it. So as you can see, there's a hole for the mirror. We'll be installing the mirror, the threaded area into the control. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Once you got it in, nice and tight, see? You'll notice uh, you'll be tightening just like that. And they're tight, they're ready to go. These will, these will pivot, so you can adjust it. These are your hand guards. As you can see, one has already been installed. If they slide in, you've got this notch here. They'll slide in like so. And there's two holes that are just be screwed in there. One here and here. This luggage rack has three bolts. You'll know they're the right ones when you have threads hanging out just like that. And that goes right here on the back. You'll hand tighten each screw. Make sure they're not going to strip when you install them. Once they've been hand tightened a few threads, you can start it with a wrench. The, the mud flap installs here pretty easily. Just line it up. And it goes like this. There's two bolts on, each, on, bolts on the back here. Self-tapping screws. You'll notice once the bars have been installed, there's, there's a pretty obvious plug-in. It only fits one way. That. The green and the yellow and the black wires, these, these need to be plugged in. And also these wires as well. They're obvious because it's only this one shape fits only that shape. So we're going to install the headlight. There's a bolt hole here and two here. And then we'll also need to plug in the uh, headlight wire. Once it's plugged in, just install the headlight. These are the bolts you'll need to install the headlight mounting. Uh, this big, larger bolt screw goes here. Like so. And these will go here. Same with the other side. The rectangle VIN cover goes right here, just clips into place, it covers the VIN number that's there. Here's the fender bill, it just kind of clips into place there, just like that. These bolts will come with the battery, 
They just slide into place. The nuts do. Slightly screw them in a couple turns. Remove the battery cover. You notice you get acid with the battery and they're sealed. You put them on, on here. Get it, get it positioned correctly. Just tap it. Then you'll have a uh, safety pin. Your attack, just poke holes in the top of the acid bottle. Be, be sure not to get these in your eyes. The acid in your eyes are on your skin. If you notice the acid is draining down into the battery, once it's drained, you should let it set for at least two hours before charging it. You'll need a trickle charger, slow two amp charger. Remove the acid once it's completely drained into the battery, making certain that you don't get into your eyes or on your skin. The battery will come with a little cover, and this just pops into the top of the battery. Now your battery is ready to be charged. Make sure you put the red on the positive and the black on the negative to charge it on a two amp charging system. So then once you're done with that, uh, come around to the center stand here. There's no front wheel on there so you'll have to be very careful. You push this down, and then the bike's off the ground. Note, when you're, before you remove this, how everything goes together because this is the same way it's going to uh, go back together. The speedometer, there's a notch here where the speedometer goes. Take note of that. And the spacer goes on this side in the wheel here. Um, be sure that you're, you don't press the brakes um, or the pads will collapse. If they do collapse, you're going to have to open these up with a screwdriver. Um, remove the axle. Like that, keep note, put this on the, on the side that it came off of. Set the axle in its hole so it stays there um, and get everything positioned. Just like that. So you'll get four 10 millimeter bolts, 10 millimeter head, um, and we'll install the front fender. Front fender just goes on just like this and just hand screw the uh, so I've, I've hand tightened the uh, these bolts here they're 10 millimeter head um, there's two on each side for the front fender just sn lightly tight uh, snug them up with your, with your ratchet this is the hardware you will receive with your luggage rack your luggage rack will be placed here This is all universal hardware. We, so we supported it with these two bolts and uh, the beam underneath here. It holds it real nice and tight. If you notice, uh, when you push the brakes, the rear brake, this handle, goes down a little further than this one. Uh, back here, behind the wheel, this nut here, you'll simply just tighten it with your fingers until you get the desired um, brake feel that you're looking for. So up here it's much tighter now. Just three little turns. So this is your negative. The black is always negative. You notice there's a negative symbol here. And the positives go here. Red, they're red. Um, you also notice here, these two will go to the positive. They're both red so they go together. You notice here, this is a fuse box. If you lose all power at any point in time, your fuse may be blown. There's a spare one. Battery is installed, just uh, slide the cover into place and they'll, they'll clip down. Just like that, and then there's a Phillips screw that goes right in there. If you notice there's a lot of play here in the hand grip, it shouldn't have that. Slide this rubber boot back, and you can loosen this nut. When you as you loosen it, you lose the play up here. You notice there's not much play. I just want to check your oil, which is located okay here, your dipstick. Make sure the bike is on the center stand. Unscrew it. And you just want to not screw it in, but just push it in. And you notice here, it's in the operating range. There's a little graded area. 